Hello. Thank you all for joining me on this lovely October afternoon. I was hoping for a little bit of an earlier start today, but I ended up sleeping until like 1 p.m., which hasn't happened in a very long time, and I guess I needed it. So here we are, now rounding on 2 p.m. I figured for this video, I would get into a little bit more depth about the drawings and the sketches that I'm gonna be incorporating into my book, because that's something new that I haven't done before, and I don't know, some people might be curious about it. I am by no means a digital artist or graphic designer. I mostly just dabble for, you know, purely just like personal reasons and to just have fun and stuff. So I don't have any sort of real background with this kind of stuff. Don't think of this as like a tutorial or anything. This is just simply showing you what I'm doing. All right, let's first start off by enabling my screen. Well, we'll see if that worked. All right, so all of my sketches and stuff um, I'm doing in Photoshop. For a lot of these, I mostly start out with a picture. So I typically just use the um, brushes. I made my own quote unquote, um, just the settings, just like the pre settings, I save them. So I have them over here. They're all super, super fine. So I'm not going to be really going into context for any of these images. So I have two sketches that I wanted to show you and then I'm going to be starting on a third today and kind of do like maybe like a time lapse thingy of that just to show my process. This one right here, it is of a tree. So this was like the final image that made it into the book before I exported it as a um, what PNG or JPEG. I turned off my background so it was transparent. Um, and that only assures that when put into like the document of the manuscript, there's no background. So even if I wasn't doing white pages, let's say I wanted to do cream pages, there would not be a white background on the image. It would just be the black on whatever color paper I was using behind it. And I think that's something really important to note when you're adding in images. Um, so yeah, so this is basically the final image. Um, the image I started with, because I cannot come up with this stuff in my own head, I'll tell you that right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, so this is basically what I started out with. I just googled like dead tree or whatever, and then from here I just made it my own. Alright, so this was the first one, and then the second one I wanted to show you is this bad boy. Oh my gosh, this was a lot of fun. I utilized the Photoshop symmetry tool, which is really cool. So like you can pick, you know, your line of symmetry and then whatever you draw on one side will happen on the other. I used that for a lot of it down here, like down towards the bottom. But if you notice up top here, the two different towers are different. So the image I used is of a real cathedral or a church. And while I did follow it pretty closely, again, I feel like it's just all about making it your own. And now for today, the image that we're gonna be starting out with is this here, the stone statue. And I really am just focusing on her face. So we'll just be seeing how this goes today. So <laughs> here we go.
Alrighty, so I actually like how simple this one was. It wasn't too detailed, which the tree and the cathedral are probably the most detailed drawings um, so far. So they're not all going to be like that. Some of them are quite simple. And this one I would say is like medium simplicity. It took me about 10-15 minutes to sketch over the original and it's at a place that I kind of like so we'll see how it looks in the actual document so I just turned off the background so it's completely transparent saved it and now I'm just gonna go to export as a PNG I do want to say that my DPI my dots per inch is set to like 350 or something which the recommended settings is uh, 330 and that's something that you can do before like while you're opening your image, you can set the uh, the pixels per inch and stuff like that. So, just gonna save it as statue, and then, all right, so here we are in my document. I put a naked statue to remind myself what I wanted to put here. <laughs> I don't know if I want it on page 75 or page 76, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll insert it here. So if I go to insert, Wow, and I want to go to wrap text and always put behind so it doesn't displace the text around it. So this way I can move it around. I kind of like it there. Because I knew that I wanted to put in sketches and pictures in the book, I chose to do my trim size with the bleed. So all of my pages are slightly bigger than they're going to be. Um, I did that so I could put pictures in here and have them be able to run off the page instead of being stopped by like a border. So all of these pages here are going to be slightly smaller in the final product because they're going to be cut down. Um, but I did like the original size of the paper. So, you know, my page numbers, you know, the end of the page is going to be like right here or like right here-ish. Um, it just depends. Um, Again, that's like a trial and error thing. I've never done it with the bleed before. Or maybe it's called without the bleed. I think it's called with the bleed. Because there's a setting when you go and create your project. Um, when you upload your file, it'll ask you, is this the sizes with the bleed or without? And uh, it's like an option you can do. So I'll have to, you know, I'll figure that out. So basically in my mind, how this is going to be is she is going to be cut off like here and like up here well page 75 that should be a right hand page yeah because all of your odd numbers are on the right hand side so this will be a right page i kind of like that versus page 76 has more room but it'll be on the left hand side and she's looking inward so i want her looking like towards the center of the book um because that's more pleasing to the eye. Unless I, I could flip the image, but I kind of like this. Um, at least for now. So I could even... And it's nice because my pixels per inch is high enough where the resolution won't be lost the larger I make the picture because there's a lot of pixelation in there. I might end up changing this. Originally I had center like in the center of the page and I don't mind that it's like right next to her but I'll have to read through and see what I think about that. So yeah, I just save it and we are locked in for now. And that's pretty much my process of inserting my own images and drawings into the book. Um, some of them are way more interactive, so they interact a lot more with the text. And then ones like these are just, you know, rough sketches that kind of correlate to what the poems are talking about. So there's a mixture in there. Each and every one does something different for the story. And part of the fun is figuring out how to do that. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this provided a little bit more insight into what I'm working on and the aspects that go with creating this project. All of the links to my stuff will be down below. And since November is rapidly approaching, if you are participating in NaNoWriMo, good luck. Hope you're getting everything set and ready to go. I will not be participating this year 
clearly because I'm just editing and editing and editing. Anyways, good luck. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.